Okay, so, um, I know I've been gone for a while now. I guess there's no excuses for it. I just got kind of busy, um, so it's kind of weird for me to be talking again to a camera. So just bear with me. Um, I hope this video turns out alright. You guys have been requesting videos on my blog. If you don't follow my blog, I'll post the link down below. I recently went to London about, um, I guess about a month ago. And it was absolutely amazing. Um, I just went for vacation. I went with a friend I met at the university and uh, that I go to. And it was absolutely a blast. I had an amazing time. Um, it was um, I, it was amazing. I absolutely love London. Um, so if you're from London, um, shout out to you. Um, I love London. It was amazing. I can't wait to go again. Um, so I want to show you guys a couple things that I got. Um, I guess you can't get it if you live in the U.S., you know, but it's just fun to kind of, you know, kind of tell you a story about my trip. Um, so this intro is already a million minutes long, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, first off, I'm going to start off with the jewelry, um, but funny story is I kind of misplaced the rest of the jewelry, so if I find it, I'll, like, put it back in this video, but whatever. Um, I got these earrings at Miss Selfridge. I think that's how you say it. And they were like 8 pounds or something like that. And I don't know the conversion rate. So it's about half of US dollars. So they were like $16. I don't know. Things are pretty expensive. But it's gorgeous. There's this turquoise and gold and little sparkles. And they're just studs. And um, me and my friend decided, the one I went with, decided to get one thing matching. And these are the ones we got matching. So I have this huge bag of the stuff I bought. Um, I just put it in this bag for the purpose of this video. I guess I'll just start randomly. Whatever I find, you know, I show you guys. So, I got this shirt at H&M, and it's like a basic just button-down. I literally have this shirt in the same color ten different times in different just fabrics. Like, I don't know why, but I keep buying this shirt. But I got this one in London. I like it because it has gold buttons, and it was like six pounds or something like that. So, it wasn't bad at all. Um, but I absolutely love it. I got this shirt in one of the shops in Camden, I believe. And it was like 2 for 16 pounds or something. I don't know. I feel like the prices are ridiculous. I didn't add it up because I was going to be mad at myself. So um, I got this one. And it's number 5 by Chanel. It's just a little cute picture. A little drawing. It's just a t-shirt. And I got one for one of my friends. So uh, I'm not going to show that one. Because just in case she sees this video, I don't want her to know what I got her. Because um, I haven't given it to her yet. This is one of my favorite things I bought. I, this is one of the first things I actually saw. When I got to London, it was at River Island, and I actually didn't buy it the first time I saw it. We, I came back one of the last days I was there, and um, I had to get it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's this pink dress. It has like a little peplum, and it has these sparkles like up here. It's gorgeous. I absolutely loved it, and it was on sale for like 30 pounds, and originally it was... 50 pounds I'm not sure um I got this one in Russell Square I remember seeing this online on um Topshop I believe and wanting it about like a couple months ago so it was kind of funny that I got to see it there and a funny story is that like I was I was really inspired by the girls who YouTube and blog from London and their style and it's so funny how I ended up going to London I absolutely loved it the people just have amazing fashion t taste. Like, I never saw one person that didn't look quick together. It was amazing. I loved it. I got these. I, saw, I got a lot of, like, bright things. I got these kind of, um, like, purple pastel um, pants. And I thought they were so different. I haven't worn them yet. And um, I got them in the UK size 10. And I, they were 22 pounds. I don't know if you can see that. But it, they're, I think they're so cute. I can't wait to wear them. But yeah, I got them at Dorothy, Dorothy Perkins. Oh, I also got this from H&M, these snake print pants, which I am obsessed with print pants, except they're also expensive. And these at H&M were like, I don't know, like 20 pounds or something like that. But I thought they were amazing and I couldn't pass them up. This in the snake print is so easy to wear just because it acts like a neutral because it has browns in it. I don't know if you guys want me to do a styling video, but I can do um, a video on print pants or colored pants because I have a lot of different colored pants. Um, I know, I'm kind of a weirdo. Oh, I got this pink blazer. It's like a boyfriend style blazer at this store called Fan Place. But um, 
it's this light pink blazer and I don't remember maybe this was like 20 pounds something like that but I had been wanting a light pink blazer got these shoes I believe at new look and these were like maybe 22 pounds something like that and I wore these to death in London every single day I wore these I absolutely love these and they were kind of the only heels I had so I wore these all the time and I love this I think the like top is amazing or the design on them is pretty amazing I got this scarf. I know this is all random. I'm sorry. I got this scarf at um, H&M. Isn't it a gorgeous fab like color and fabric? I like that'd be gorgeous for the summer. I want a little scarf. Crazy. I feel like Europeans wear a little scarf. UK is considered European, right? Yeah. But um, I also got this one. And I thought it was so pretty. I love stripes. And it's blue, black, white, and light pink. What a perfect combination. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? I think it's gorgeous um this is also from h&m and these were like maybe six to ten pounds something like that um so i went to the primark on oxford um it's a huge primark it took us for a funny story because the day we got there we hadn't slept at all and um we got there in the morning because the, the hours are so different it's like a nine hour difference or six hour difference from um the u.s to the uk and so we didn't sleep at all and we ended up arriving in london in the morning so we were dead, but we still wanted to, you know, enjoy the day. We had a whole day ahead of us. We didn't want to go to sleep. We're in London. Hello. Who sleeps in London? And um, so we went shopping that day, and we ended up going to the... I was like, let's go to Primark. Let's go to Primark. And we didn't, we didn't like, know how to take, like, the tube so or the underground. So we ended up walking to Oxford, and um, we walked all... It's, like, pretty far down. Primark is, like, really far down. Um, it was insane. I, I couldn't take it. I had no sleep. I was sweating. And me and my friend just, like, grabbed some things and left. Like, that store is insane. Like, I didn't believe people on YouTube when they said it was crazy. But it was pretty... It was an experience, I have to say. But um, I ended up picking this amidst all that craziness. Um, I ended up picking up this scarf. And I just liked it because the colors are so surprising and they're so different than anything I would wear. And it kind of reminded me of the Alexander McQueen kind of style because of the schools. Um, so I just, I, I don't know, I just, I was really attracted to it. I still really like it. I think it's really cool. It's something um, really different, the colors. But um, yeah, this is from Primark and this is probably like two pounds. I picked up this set of scarves and I wear these on my hair. It went a little scarf crazy. I love scarves. I love this because of the crown. I mean, I was in England. Hello, the queen, the royalty, the royal family. And it came, it also came with the this one. And this one's like the flag kind of. I'll show you what kind of I think is a heart. Yeah, it has like a heart in the middle, but it has like the colors. It's kind of, you know inspired by the flag um i picked this up on a whim it's just a belt because my leggings were falling down the day i got there so um the nine hour flight completely made them sag so i needed a belt and i ended up picking up this one because it was just a pound from new look i resist these a lot of the girls were i was totally inspired i wanted to take a picture of everyone and I, but everyone was wearing um little like ked like shoes like this these are from h&m um and with they looked so chic like they just pulled it off they all had a motorcycle jackets leggings like or like pants and like a big scarf and everybody just looked so fabulous and like i had to pick them up they looked so european um like kind of the outfit styled also ended up picking up these shorts from river island they're super super cute they're kind of high-waisted um and they have no pockets and they came with this belt. I thought I'd show you because it came with it. These are absolutely amazing. They were maybe like 24 pounds, something like that. But these are gorgeous. I love these like sandal heel shoes. I love these. Oh my god, I love these. They're gorgeous. Um, I've really been into the sandal type shoe. So I picked these up just because I thought they were really funky. And these are from New Look, I believe. And these were also like 20 pounds around there. And um, look at the studs and look at the color. I know I might look a little tacky on camera, but they look really good on. They're just so cute. I love the sandals on. These are really funky. I went kind of crazy on the kind of stuff I bought. Stuff I wouldn't normally buy. Oh my god, I had been wanting mint jeans forever before I went to London. And I found some at New Look. And these are by the brand Yes Yes Jeans. I even wore them in London. Um, there's a post on my blog of me wearing them one of the days. God, I love them. They were 
maybe like 24 pounds 26 pounds something like that i don't really remember but that's about the range i got a lot of mint clothing just noticed but i got this at primark and this was like 10 pounds so primark is pretty amazing but it's just some mint color and i love um long sleeve kind of chiffon tops so this, i thought this was really cute and the color they had them in every single color when i went and I obviously I couldn't take every single color. I should have picked up one more color, but whatever. My favorite store was definitely Miss definitely Miss um, Selfridge. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this is what it's how it's spelled. Um, they have a U.S. store, which I figured out, and I'm so excited because I'm gonna keep ordering things from there because I absolutely love the clothes. And I ended up getting this dress, and I absolutely am in love with it. I think it's amazing. Oh my goodness. I love this dress so, 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 so much. But these are the ones I could find. And because they're the ones I wear the most often. But I bought this one at New Look. And this was on sale for maybe like three pounds. Um, and it's just, it just has these kind of brown stones. They're just really pretty. I don't buy a lot of jewelry at home. But I tend to buy a lot of jewelry when I travel. The one thing I always get when I travel is um, bracelets. And I bought these in Camden for a pound each. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell the detailing on that. And they just snap open. Um, they were just lying there. And I asked them how much they were. And they had a couple more. But these were the prettiest colors. If you've seen my vlog, you see these on my wrist all the time. I ended up picking up this wallet from River Island. It's gotten a little dirty now just because I use it so much. And it's peach with gold hardware. But, um, my favorite purchase, as you guys have seen this in my vlog plenty, plenty, plenty of times. I absolutely love it. I wear it every single day. Funny story, when I got there, I saw a lot of women with it. And I, I, was, I was in love. I was like, where is that from? And I kept looking for a brand on it. I would even look at, like, peek inside the girls, like, purses trying to find a brand and I just could not find a brand on it until I just I was standing in line gonna try something on and I asked someone she didn't have the purse or anything but I was fed up I was like I'm gonna find this purse I'm gonna make it mine and she was like oh yeah, yeah the brown one oh that's from Zara and I ran into Zara and I saw it and I've seen it here in the U.S., in the Zaras and they're just sitting there lonely I haven't seen anyone in the U.S. carrying them and they're so beautiful they're real leather purses whatever i'll just show you the bag right and it's this purse i know you see me wearing it but this is my baby i love this purse so much and i had been in the market for like a really nice purse and i was con i was trying to save up money you know for like a designer like you know really expensive purse um and i didn't even have to spend thousands of dollars it was it was less than two hundred dollars and I know it's still a lot, but it's real leather. I'm going to wear it so many times. It's so classic. I I absolutely love this purse. Like, I should probably pick up another one because I'm going to die the day this purse dies. Um, When I was at the airport, I came back by myself back home. My friend was going to go see her dad in a different country, so I didn't leave with her. She went somewhere else, somewhere else and I came back to the States. And, um... It, everything is duty free so I ended up picking up a little luxury and this is from YSL and it's like one of their what's it called it's made in France um I don't know but it's number 12 but it's one of their like lip stains and it's beautiful I really love it it's just a little bit of luxury to having your purse soup I know a lot of people are saying to do a room tour um uh, but my room right now is kind of a disaster um just because I brought all the things from the university back home and it doesn't fit so I don't have a neat way to store a lot of the things so I'm trying to figure that out um if I figure that out soon enough I'll do it but um I'm moving into an apartment in a couple of months so maybe I could do a room tour of that instead I don't know and I think that's it if I left anything out I'll mention it in a blog or in a video um so this is my first video in a long time i hope it's not awkward and weird I hope i'm not playing with my hair my hands too much i hope i looked into the camera enough but um i hope you guys enjoyed this and um have a wonderful day and i love you guys thank you